Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. It's Bruce Jordan, your favorite master magician over here at Hotel Revenue Magic. Thanks for tuning in to another, another show. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. ding a ling a ling a ling When you hit that bell, my hair grows back. So make sure you hit that bell. <laughs> now, with extended stay cells, it's very different from regular hotel cells at a regular hotel. Extended stay cells, like a regular reservation, could be a two, three, four thousand dollar cell. So you don't want to put your situ yourself in a situation that you're treating the call that you're receiving as a regular reservation. It is very di different. There's some things that you got to do to vet out the call to make sure that this is not going to be a one night or a two nighter, and this is going to be you know a two three week or two three month or who in some cases years uh, worth of revenue that you're going to be getting for for this particular reservation. All extended stay hotels need to be treated like a group sale, not like a regular hotel reservation. There's going to, there should be a sales process, a follow-up process, a texting process, a calling process that goes into this type of sale because these guests are not staying here for one night. This is real revenue, real money. Now think about it. If I, like one time I had, I had booked a guest um, I think the total charge was like $4,500 up front in one pop. I gave, listen, I didn't have to sell that room. That room was already sold. I already got the money. That's one room that less that I have to sell. And I got all the money up front, which is why I do not treat these reservations like it's just a regular phone call, like it's just a regular reservation. If I could get all these reservations like this, I'm golden. Now with extended stay sales, the first thing you have to do is you have to know your competition. Guests are going to be asked you a lot of questions. They're, they're going to be shopping. You know they're going to be shopping because guess what? They're going to be here for months They're not or weeks. They're not going to be here for a day or two. So the whole process of the research and so on and so forth that the guests do is very different from a, from a regular guest. So you're going to have to know what your hotel has and what the hotels that they're looking at don't have so you can answer these questions, attack all these questions, and get the competition out of the way and get you in the business. So these are some of the questions that you're going to be asking. Number one, how long do you plan on staying? Now, some guests may feel uncomfortable asking these questions because they don't know if you're extended stay at a hotel or not. Others, they don't care. They know like, hey, I'm moving from Chicago to this area. I'm gonna need this place until I find an apartment. Okay, so ask them how long they're staying, try to figure out what's, what it's gonna be. And you need to know this because you're gonna to have to know how long you have to sell the guests on your hotel. And the way we do that is with number two, how soon do you need the room? This lets us know how, how long we have to sell in this hotel, lets us know how long they're gonna be researching and trying to find other places, lets us know how, how many times they're gonna be talking to our competition and, and how long they have to do that. It gives us, gives us that urgency that we need to close the deal. And of course, we have number three, what is your budget range? I always start with the higher number, so I take my regular rate and I increase it by 50%. All right, so when it comes to, let's say, a weekly rate, you give you don't give them a set amount you give them a range your your highest number is your bottom number <laughs> all right so if you're selling for five hundred dollars a week your your range is going to be five to seven hundred dollars if you're selling for three thousand dollars a month your range is going to be three to four thousand dollars do you see what i'm saying the reason why you want to do that to give them a higher range is because when you do that they're going to give you their full budget they just do it inadvertently I only I, I can only afford such and such and such. Perfect. Let's start with that. <laughs> All right. We're running this promotion. We're running this count. Maybe we could probably meet you halfway. How does that sound? You, you really, really have to go ahead and, and sell them on that. This gets you all of their budget up front so you don't have to worry about, you know, start at one number and then have to end up with another number. No. You tell me everything you got right now. So I can go ahead and, 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 and take care of the rest, all right? You tell me how, how much you can spend and I'll tell you how much you can afford. That simple. And of course we have number four. If possible, try to get a deposit. Even if it's just $50 or $100 to hold the room to keep them from shopping. You don't want them 
shopping and coming back at you with different prices. Oh, well this rate, that rate. I caught this hotel, I caught that hotel. And their rate is this. After you went ahead and closed the deal. After you went ahead and gave them price and they agreed, okay, we're gonna go ahead and book. Take a deposit, then there's no more room. If, if worse comes to worse, you'll just do a price match. Now, to keep the sell alive, we're gonna need to send a couple of text messages to engage our guests because, you know, when the guests, if we didn't close the sell and made that book and you took, took that deposit at the front end on the first call, we gotta, keep, we gotta put this guest inside of our CRM, set some follow-up dates, do some sketch, schedule some text messages to go out automatically to do some inquiries. And these are the text messages that we have to send out. Number one text message, it's a status check. Hey, I'm just following up with you to see how you're doing. Um, are you still looking for a room? They're gonna reply, yes, no, um, we're still shopping, so on and so forth. Cool, now you know where they're at in the process and you can go ahead and move forward. Now, the second text message is still available, still available text. Hey, we still have this room available for you. What day you wanna come take a look at it? A lot of guests tend to want to see the room before they check in or before they go ahead and commit. So that's cool. If you come in and I show you the room, I have a better opportunity to close the deal and seal the deal because now I get to sell, not only do I, do I get to sell the room, I get to sell myself. Wait, that's me. Yes. I'm beautiful. So we definitely want them to come in and check out the room, get a, get some of the best rooms, block them off for a showroom, let, let housekeeping know, hey, I got a, someone coming in, I need a nice room, block it, don't sell it. Because like I said, we're not talking about, you know, a couple of dollars here, we're talking about two, three, four thousand dollars. So we wanna make sure the presentation is on point. Now, if you're still having problems and you're still having trouble closing a deal, let's just send a promotional text. Hey, I'm not sure if you're still looking, um, if you're still looking for a room, but hey, you know, up until this date, two days, three days, seven days, I usually try to do a couple of days, you know, just to get them locked in. We're running a special promotion on the, the actual price that I quoted you. We're taking off five, 10, 15, 20% of that, that particular deal. Would you like me to go ahead and book this for you now? And they'll go ahead and respond, so on and so forth. It hooks them right on in. Of course they wanna sell, save 5%. Of course they wanna save 10%. Of course they wanna save 15%. But the problem is, it's not for their whole stay. It's for the first week, for the second week, for the first month. You see storage units do this all the time. Your first free month is a dollar. After that is such and such amount, da 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 Okay, same thing. Yeah, your first month is gonna be five, 10, 15% off, and then after that, it'll be this. Nobody wants to move out once they move in. Trust me, I know, I process enough evictions to know that nobody wants to move out after they move in. So these are some of the things that you can do to go ahead and close the deal when it comes to extended stay sales. If you have any other questions, um, let me know, shoot me an email, and guess what? I need you to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, man. Please do that, make sure you do that. And the software that we use, of course, is TextGuest to send these text messages. Now, if you'd like a free demo, go to textguest.com and we'll make sure you take care. And you know what it is, and you know why we're here, and you know what we do, we're here to make our revenues rise up once again.